Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. You guys, I got some new yarn to show you. And I didn't bring it to the desk, so I gotta grab it. Alright, these are I, there's actually two, two yarns I'm gonna show you today that I ordered off of Premier Yarns website, premieryarns.com. My link is below if you click it. Save extra little percentage, you know. Anyway, now this yarn is expensive. I'm just going to get that out of the way now because some people take offense to paying more than $2 for yarn. And hey, we're cool with that. I just recorded another video that showed you bargain yarn. So I'm trying to get all my bases covered. <laughs> this is not bargain yarn, but it is a good deal. And it is an excellent deal for what the fiber content is. And I am very, 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 very excited and happy and pleased to show you this yarn. Half of this video is the yarn that got lost. If you don't know that story, let me recap it really quick. I was sitting at my kitchen table, which I refer to as my desk because I work there sometimes. Next to the desk, right here, is a window kitchen table desk whatever <laughs> I was there all day because I was working I was doing channel content stuff I was I was working all day all day at the kitchen table this window is the window that is right at the edge of my driveway slash sidewalk where all package delivery people have to park and then walk up and then put it on my porch. So I can see the entire street. I can see my entire porch from that seat. Every time someone walks by or drives by, the dogs bark and raise hell. <laughs> okay, so I got a ding on my phone that a package was just delivered on my porch. Lies. It's all lies. Not only was there not a package on my porch, which I knew before I even stood up, but I double checked. No one had even driven down my street. So that package delivery person didn't even come down my street. I waited about two hours and I contacted Premier and it took a couple days for them to contact me back. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So this is story time guys. <laughs> Customer service contacted me back and said that they would send another package out and I asked if it would please be sent to the United States Postal Service because UPS and FedEx are completely unreliable at this point. Completely unreliable. Especially my neighborhood. And I'm not the only one having problems. I, I actually, I've told you this in the past. My husband used to be the vice president on our HOA board. I started the Facebook group page for that. And I no longer run it, but I used to. So there's a lot of complaints in the board about packages being mishandled, misdelivered, missing. Amazon included in that. My postal service carrier is a wonderful, wonderful woman. She always gets her job done correctly. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so I watched my little tracking number for my UPS, USPS package. And my yarn finally arrived safe and sound in my happy happy hands <laughs> so that I could show you guys and I have so many plans for this yarn you guys are gonna be excited okay so I will show you the misplaced yarn the lost yarn the stolen yarn first because that took it took I don't know it took a long trip to get here I guess well not really because the post office did their job UPS and FedEx not so much this is Wisdom Yarns from Universal Angora Lace. It's Angora, guys. Okay. It is, and I have worked with Angora before. I need to open up their. I need to open up their face. Their, their, their yeah. Their, da -da. I need to open up Premier's website because I think I know the price of this. I am going to double check. Because this is on a pretty good deal. PremierYarns.com 
I'm going to tell you about the information. It is regularly $19 a ball. It is on sale for $12.35. Okay. This very much has the look and the feel of hand painted yarn. It looks very similar to some of the yarns that I have dyed myself. And I am absolutely... They also have solid colors. So if you don't like this look, they have solid colors. They have actually quite a few colors. They have quite a few colors. I'm not going to count that, but they have <laughs> a lot. This is 60% Superwash Fine Merino, 10% Angora, 30% Nylon. 100 grams, 252 yards. It is lace weight. So it's a fine number one. But this is so nice. I like waiting for it. It was well worth the wait. It is, for it being wool and, and, and angora, it is incredibly just squishy and just... The color is what gets me though. Like that is just... So nice. So, so nice. Now, because it is Angora and Superwash and all those wonderful things, they do recommend hand washing and drying flat, but that is a lot of, like, your fancier yarns is like that. I got two more in the, the colors, and these colors, in my opinion, go together. They probably will be worked together. Now, the purple is Paradise. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't it look hand-painted? This blue and purple one is Global. And then the bluey one is Misty Waters. Let me show you them together again. Do you not think that would just be a beautiful, like, fade project? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so, so pretty. But that's not all that I got because <laughs> you can see why I was upset when this package went missing because A, this is not cheap yarn. And the fact that they disappeared, yeah, I was, I was livid. I was, I was livid. I was not mad at Premier. I was mad at, I think it was FedEx. <sighs> anyway, I got white. Why would you get white when they have hand-painted darn, darn, yeah, darns? Why would I get white? This is dyeable. <laughs> this is dyeable. It is, what did I say? How many yards is this? 462 yards, 100 grams. I'm going to put these into skeins, and I'm going to hand-paint my own colors because... Why the heck not, right? Yeah. Now, I've dyed Angora before. I got Angora, I believe, from Knit Picks. And it was beautiful, and I love dyeing it. And I sold it all. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Why I sold it all and didn't keep some, I don't know. But I want some nice, you know, I want some for myself. So this is not going to stay white. I may leave one white because I, I think I got four of these. I'm, I may leave one white in case I want to do like border accent, any of that kind of stuff, but I'm definitely going to color these because, oh, it's a nice yarn. I am so, I'm, I'm so in love with that yarn. It was worth the wait. It was worth the hassle to get that yarn. I just cannot believe how stunning these are. So if you like lace weight, if you want a fancy bougie yarn, <laughs> again, this is local yarn shop quality yarn this is not like i'm going to walmart to pick up some yarn this is something you're going to invest in something that is a very special project now now that i covered the angora lace which i am so in love with i can't wait to dye that i'm going to show you some yarn <laughs> that i love and i am very excited to use but it is, it's a special kind of yarn. <laughs> and you guys may not understand why I'm laughing, but I got a story. 
<laughs> I got a story for you, okay? There are certain yarns that have a natural odor to them. It's not necessarily stinky, although some people will find the odor off-putting. Wool smells like hay, like um, very, it's not, it's not real, it's not stinky, but it smelled like you can smell that the wool has come from an animal that eats hay. Like you can still smell it in the wool, especially like a high quality wool. Um, and alpaca will sometimes have like a really strong barnyard smell. Not like poop barnyard, but like the smell of like the hay and the animals and especially if you go on like a hot day and like the animals are hot. Like, for example, Scarlet, okay? Scarlet is an American Staffordshire Terrier and she's not the first one that I have owned. So I will tell you with certainty, this is very much their breed, okay? When they are in the sun, they have an odor that they emit that it... I love the smell of them when they've been baking in the sun because they just, they smell like puppies, you know? <laughs> I just love the way they smell fresh out of the sun. My previous dog, Day Day, who passed away, he had the same smell. And so when Scarlet smells like that, I just bury my nose in her neck because it reminds me of Day Day. Day Day was like the perfect dog ever that has ever lived. He was amazing and he is missed very, very much. But like that smell smells familiar to me, smells good to me. <laughs> this yarn very much has an odor to it that is very barnyardy. This again, let me find it, is an expensive yarn. It's because of what it is. Um, this is Universal Revolutions. I'll show you the label. And it is normally $19.50 per cake. And right now it is on sale for $12.67 as of the 6th of July. And it is absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. And I have seen cakes on Hobie's website, Hobby, Hobie, whatever, however you say it, that are similarly priced, $12 for a cake. So it's not like over the top expensive, but it's it's expensive to some people. I'll just say that. But let me show you this side. It just is so pretty to me. I, but well, back to the story, these smell. <laughs> Do they smell bad? No. But <laughs> as soon as I opened the package, because I ordered these two by themselves separately. So these came in their own little package. And as soon as I opened them and felt them, they feel like an alpaca. They feel like an alpaca. They are alpaca. I mean, there's alpaca in them, but if you rub like, and it's not a dirty, like gross, where you pull your hand away from the alpaca, it's gross. Like if you pet a clean, non-dusty alpaca, that's what this feels like to me. And it is 57% acrylic, 15% nylon, 10% alpaca, 10% wool, 8% mohair. That's really strange. Let me show you what I just noticed. 8% mohair, 10% mohair in different languages. I don't know how that makes sense, but I'm going to say that's a labeling error. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, this is what the yarn looks like. Let me see. I need my glasses. Is made in Turkey, as is every yarn I've ever gotten from Premier. Um, hand wash, lay flat to dry. This one is the colorway Hidden Pool. It is 7 ounces, 200 grams, 612 yards. And it is considered a bulky. And the reason it's considered a bulky is because of all that fluff and fuzz that's on there. This base chain for the yarn is probably like a three weight but it's labeled as a bulky because it requires a bigger hook and or needles so that you're not compressing all that fluff and the fluff still shows through in your final product so you see all the hairs on it this is fun stuff to work with and no it's not everybody's cup of tea but this is my cup of tea i love i just love 
So back to my funny story. <laughs> I opened this and I was sitting next to my daughter and the aroma came off of this instantly. It is a very strong alpaca wool slash smell. Okay. It smells very, very barnyardy. I walked up to Mr. Cinnamon <laughs> and I said, close your eyes. And he closed his eyes. I said, now smell this. And I stuck his nose right here where there is a slight imprint. It says smell. And he went, ew. <laughs> I said, what does that smell like? He's all, I don't know. And then I said, now just imagine you're at a barn. And he looked at me. He said, that's alpaca. <laughs> he started laughing. I said, when you put your nose right here, it smells, and now this is a little bit vulgar, so don't, <laughs> it feels like, because there's a dimple there, it smells like you stuck your your nose in an alpaca butt. <laughs> That's what it smells. Not the poop smell, but like the alpaca smell, like an alpaca that's been out in the sun, sunbathing, and, and he's getting a little bit, you know, I don't think they sweat, but yeah. I love this smell. It reminds me of going to, like, there was a park in Michigan called Kensington. And they had a petting farm. And that's what this reminds me of, is the smell of the petting farm. Because it was always immaculately kept up. Like, it was clean. There was not, like, poop just laying around. There was just animals. And they were always baking in the sun. And that's what it feels like. That's what it smells like. So, if you imagine, if you like the smell of alpacas... If you like the smell of barns, if you like all of that, you will love this yarn. I love this yarn. I can't wait to work with it. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to play with. Look how furry it is. I just love this. I think it's going to be something very, very cool and unique. And honestly, if you got these together, forget that. Held these two together, I think that would be a neat project. Like, super cool. Or even, or even, right, right? So, those are my new fancy yarns that I wanted to show you guys that I've been waiting for almost two weeks to show you guys, but I think it's a good deal that those are $12. I think it was a good bargain. Um, it's a good investment for a special project that you want to make for yourself, for somebody else. Not definitely not donation stuff, but yeah. All right, guys, tell me what you think of my alpaca butt yarn <laughs> in the comments <laughs> or the angora because this is just this is beautiful. And I'd like when I felt this, I was expecting this to be more like this feel, like, um, like the you know, alpaca butt feel. This is oh, think about it, like, angora is just soft. Nylon makes it soft and there's nylon and I just this is really 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 nice And it's gonna be a lot of fun to dye and I will show you guys. I actually ordered a little more of that white So that I could dye it <laughs> I think it'll be fun So that's all I have to show you for today uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and let me know if you decide to buy any of this yarn, you know um, If you don't hey, that's cool I understand, especially this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. This is very much like you have to want to work with that kind of yarn. But this, I think everybody would enjoy that. Even if you have to hold it together with another another yarn. So, I guess that's all I have to say. I am going to let you guys go. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye, guys.